Feel the Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. So cool to be hanging out with rugby legend AJ Fenter here in our studios, along with the Curry Cup. I mean, it's how many times in the morning do you wake up with the Curry Cup right next to you like this, but only when we have special stars like him here. Dude, great to have you here. I hope that you're enjoying your time. Did you see Bella jumping just before the break, eh? Yeah, it's wonderful, man. I've, I love dog, <coughs> dogs as well. Do you um, have dogs? I've got two dogs. I've got a Ridgeback and a Jack Russell, and it's so wonderful. To, I feel at home here. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's <laughs> quite a combo there. Yeah. Ridgeback, Jack Russell. And who do you think runs the show? Ah, the Jack Russell. The ringmaster. The <laughs> ringmaster. I want to get into your, your rugby career a little bit and uh, talk a bit about, you know, you played uh, in the Curry Cup for three teams. Uh, in, four. In, in, four, in four teams, right? <laughs> four teams. W which one of them stands out as, as your favourite? Do you have fond memories that you hold up and you're like, That's, that was my team that I like playing for? Yeah. I think in every... Uh, promise that I played, there's good and bad moments. And uh, with the Lions, we won the, I won the Curry Cup. Yeah. Um, in, in Durban, I played for a long, long time. I was born in the Free State. So each one has got this. And obviously, I played a year in Western Province. And who, who can't like living in Cape Town? I mean, it was a wonderful time. So um, I, I'd rather not, um, you know, have one favorite, but it was all good fun. That's a very dip diplomatic way of answering. <laughs> well done, well done. How about the supporters though? Because they, they, they are, they are, obviously the supporters are crazy. Who are your favorite? And what, what, what are some of like the crazy things that they, that they would do to support the team? Well, um, I, I tell you what, my whole life uh, coming, playing against Western Province here yeah, as, as, as another, prov as yeah. another a team, the abuse you would get from the side of, of the stadium in Cape Town is, is special. <laughs> So there's a few guys always in the front there where that, where the, in the tunnel where you run out, and that is special. I mean, the, the abuse that, that gets thrown at you over there is yeah, quite yeah. fun. So I suppose, as a Western Province guy, it's nice to walk out and you know these guys are going to abuse the opposite team. So, They're yeah. on your side, hey? Yeah. 16 band on the, on the field. I, I was going to ask you what, what you make of the level of rugby, because uh, you know coming out of, I think, a somewhat successful uh, Super 15 campaign, Cheetah's doing very, very well, and like, right now, going into the third week, fourth week of, of the Curry Cup, what do you make of the state of South African rugby right now? We're doing it on the rugby championship too? I think it's fantastic. I mean, you, look, it, it goes through stages, and I think we're in that stage now where there's um, a, a lot of. Uh, <laughs> it's just too funny. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Bella, no, Bella and fine. Bob just are taking over the couch right now. Uh, um, <laughs> it's um, it, it's a, it's an interesting stage of South African rugby. I think it's exciting. There's um, a few older players that that that's holding the fort in terms of seniority. But there's a hell of a lot of young players coming through, exciting players. Yeah. Um, and I think... Who are you, you looking know, at? Who are some of your favourites? I, I can mention 20 at this moment. I mean, there's so many. Uh, I can't even think in my mind of one. There's so many. <laughs> it's just in, in loose forts and in... I mean, there's, there's seven or eight guys that could play yeah. for the Springboks in the next year if you want to really. So. Yeah. And, and that's, that, for me, is, is amazing that there's so much depth in the country. Yeah, and especially speaking of which, I mean, you look at even first division sides like the Pumas that are dominating totally in that first division, winning nine out of nine in yeah. the beginning stages of, of, of this season. So do you think that the next powerhouse of rugby might even come out of Nelspreet area? Well, you know, getting back to the Cheetahs, for me, I was born there. Yeah. And, and the way they've been playing the last two seasons, I mean, let's be honest, the Cheetahs is everyone's second best team. Everyone wants the Cheetahs <laughs> to win. <laughs> if you're not a Cheetah supporter, you want the Cheetahs to win. Everyone loves the Cheetahs. And, oh, they were exciting, man. The way they played rugby this year was unbelievable. I, I, I was so happy to see them up there. Yeah. Tell me about, about your, your time playing for the Springboks, especially 2004's Tri-Nations, uh, when you actually won, you were actually in, in the team at the time. How, yeah. how did that feel to know that you are the number one team in the Southern Hemisphere? It was unbelievable. Um, you know, it's, it's, there's few things in, in my life that you look back at and, and, and those things stand out. And winning a Curry Cup is one. Um, playing for the Springboks, you know, your first game, that's one. Um, and then obviously, for me, winning the 2004 tri nations was amazing. Um, in Durban, um, I was playing in, 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 I was living in Durban at the time, so home crowd, yeah. you know, my people was there. It was unbelievable. One of the most memorable, you know, things in my mind that stand out of my rugby career. Fantastic, man. As you can see, such is the excitement here <laughs> on set that even Bob and Bella couldn't contain themselves while AJ was talking about rugby. They just scrummed the couch into pieces right now. <laughs> but, uh, of course, uh, we were talking about fans earlier on, you know, and, and being a passionate fan takes dedication. It takes, you know, you, you've got to know your team. You've got to know what they're all about. But this all comes with a great deal of reward as well. Now, uh, the Curry Cup uh, is giving away, it was giving the opportunity for fans out there uh, to win a, a great deal of money, 250000 
thousand rands in cash prizes. Uh, one prize of one hundred and fifty thousand rand that goes over to a Premiership uh, uh, supporter and one hundred thousand rand to a First Division supporter. Now, what you have to do is go on to www.mypassionmyteam.co.za uh, and when you're there, post a picture of yourself doing something crazy. I don't know what people do to support. Well, I was team. just thinking, I might do something. Two hundred fifty grand for Dude, one photo. You, you can do, do that. that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so we had a, a couple last week that had tattoos. Right, tattoos, they tattooed right. via beer on themselves. That's how dedicated well, that's, they are. That's just crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you can go even crazier than that, try it out. Let's see if you can win this prize. Well, it's my team, my passion.co.za. That's the website. Right now, it's time for us to check out the box office top five.